everybody, Bob Sokoler, the Sokoler Team, Remax Properties East. We're down here along with members of our Sokoler Team at Englehart Elementary School. And the reason is to help fill backpacks for kids who need food to eat at home over the weekend. We'll tell you more about that in just a moment. First, here's a look at what's happening in both Louisville and Southern Indiana real estate. This appears to be a very popular resolution this year, buying a new house. And that is why home sales are projected to grow in 2020. In fact, economists at Realtor.com say housing remains a solid foundation for the U.S. economy going into 2020. And in fact, the National Association of Realtors, the Mortgage Banker Association, Fannie Mae, even Freddie Mac are all predicting that home sales will increase in 2020. And a lot of that has to do with mortgage rates, which are expected to remain low over the next two years, averaging just 3.8%. And in fact, if we do the research, both Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, the Mortgage Bankers Association, and the National Association of Realtors all agree that interest rates are going to stay low. So you may be wondering, so where are the problems, Bob? Well, here they are. Inventory shortage. The biggest issue in the housing market that we're going to face in 2020 not enough homes to sell to buyers. And if we look at the number of months of supply of homes nationally, last year, four months supply, last month, a 3.9 month supply, and a 3.7 month supply today. But in Louisville, that number is down to about 1.5 month supply in homes that are priced $100,000 to $300,000. Help may be coming in the form of new construction, Economists over at Fannie Mae are saying we now expect single-family housing starts and sales of new homes to increase substantially, aided by a large uptick in new construction as builders work to replenish inventories drawn down by the recent surge in new home sales activity. And just as important, Realtor.com economists are saying as millennials embrace home ownership and take advantage of this year's unexpectedly low mortgage rates, demand is outstripping supply, causing inventory to vanish. The issue is further compounded by the fact that sellers tend to be more reluctant to list during the colder time of year when the market typically makes a seasonal slowdown. That's a hint to list now before the market heats up and you have more competition. Here's some facts you might be interested in. People have begun their home search earlier each year since 2015, and by the way, that's online. January 2019 fell just 1% behind February of the same year for the highest number of views per listing. And in 20% of the large markets, January saw the highest number of listing views in 2019. And one of the companies we use, Showing Time, is reporting that they're seeing increases in buyer traffic. In fact, if you compare 2019 to 2018, there was a 12.6% growth in home showings, and that's pretty amazing. As for the value of your home, well, CoreLogic, which tracks all of this, says we expect home prices to rise at least another 5% over the next 12 months. And beyond that, just about everybody polled agrees that home values are projected to continue to appreciate through 2020. And the market is just starting to heat up here in 2020. Listen, we'll tell you more about how to get in contact with us in a couple of minutes if you want to buy or sell a home. But first, let's talk about something that's very serious. It's a problem that a lot of kids face, not only in Louisville, but around the country, and what we and you can do about it. Good morning. Did you know that one in six kids struggles with access to food over the 65 hours they're not at school over the weekend? So to ensure that the kids in our area have full bellies over the weekend, Blessings in a Backpack hands out some 400 meals at Inglehard Elementary School every Friday. It's my ninth year at Inglehard. We've been doing Blessings for nine years here. Regina Jackson Willis is the Family Resource Center Coordinator at the school. Blessings in a Backpack is an amazing program. Um, it helps to uh, feed kids over the weekend who sometimes don't have food to eat over the weekend. Many of our students, um, when they leave school on Friday and they have lunch, um, lunch would have been their last meal of the day. So we make sure on Fridays that they have food to eat over the weekend. It's a wonderful program, and that's why some of our agents from our Socola team, along with some of the members of the UofL softball team, volunteered 
early in the morning to help fill those backpacks. Blessings in a Backpack is always looking for donations and help. We will put a link in this video and in this blog post if you want to help either financially or help pack backpacks on Fridays. If you want information about selling or buying a home, this is something that many people are getting ready to do. Please do not hesitate to give us a call. We've got 25 agents ready to help. Call me at 502-376-5483. That's 502-376-5483. With many members of our Sokolar team doing a great job packing backpacks, I'm Bob Sokolar, the Sokolar team, REMAX Properties East.